Hi guys. Um, as some of you know, I also take class exam and plays. Um, what I like to do is recreate some old unknown ones. Uh, so today we're going to recreate one that I seen posted recently on Facebook, and uh, it employs some unusual uh, techniques. So we're going to try and replicate those. This is the first time I've had a go at this, so we'll see how it how it goes. Now, what is unusual I find here is that they used the tinsel that created the tag also to rib the body uh, so looking at the fly things were tied in in a certain uh, order that might not be be usual to the way we would do things so we'll see how we go so I've already attached my gut eye uh, to this single and I'm going to attach my tinsel this is a wide oval tinsel at the rear of that and I'm going to take that down then just round the bend slightly so what seemed evident from the picture is that they tied in the whole body sections etc first and then they would have added the started at the back with the tinsel and came the whole way up through it so I said unusual but that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to use uh, for the tail a cock of the rock feather just going to pick one of these and they, what is also unusual is that they seem to be using single feathers Don't worry about neatness too much here, as I said, uh, because what we're doing is uh, it's going to be like a mohair type body, so that doesn't need to be overly neat. So the feathers were tied in in single, so there's also IC feathers in here as well. Uh, and uh, which may have been a, an economic consideration, I suppose. These feathers were scarce back then, too. So I'm going to use a like a fairy brown typed mohair here I'm going to tie on up to where I think roughly the second wrap would be second wrap tinsel relax my tail thread there tie in a crow feather or crow substitute and I'm also going to put in a ginger hackle. It's hard to see from the picture where that uh, where the hackle begins but I think it begins roughly at this second turn. So going to double the hackle. Tie that in. Tie off the tag end of it. Come back. And then I'm going to tie in a crew sub cutter. Again, it was a single one going in. Now, it's hard to tell because of whether the fly was fished or whether um, whether it was tied in this way, but it seems to be sort of up on its side as a single. Tie that in and then continue with our dubbing. Put this on fairly loosely. it seems to have been well brushed out. So I'll come up maybe another two turns or so worth. I'm going to pick all that out later so don't worry too much. And then another crew 
the other ones in. This is a mohair wool, by the way. So. so, now the unusual bit. So generally we would tie in our tinsel tip tag, etc. And then continue the fly, whereas this fly seemed I've done it like this, which is a little bit ugly looking, but very awkward. take our hackle and I'm just going to use my fingers to sort of direct it back as it sits in behind my tinsel. Let me get it to the front there, we might get one more turn out of it or so. In. So, next I want to get a double needle. And I'm just going to pick out. So you don't have more hair, you could use seal spur, something along the lines of that. Okay, so that has created a really shaggy, sort of grumpy type body. Now, uh, the next came uh, some sort of like a cocky bundu type hackle. I'm going to look for one. Oops. It's possibly a little bit lighter than the one I'm about to use here. But that may also be an age thing, as it might have faded a bit, so I'm going to double that. So I have a techniques video on dubbing if anyone's 
interested, so I'll double that over. Tie it in by its tip and fold it back. wing, it's unclear from the picture whether there were one or two uh, tippets in it, but there were certainly two strips of turkey and it probably makes more sense to me that if the wing array was doubled that it would probably swim uh, truer. So what I'll do, I'll put on a pair of them. But I'm not going to be overly fussy as to how they they sit. Get the two of them. The wing itself was uh, sort of like a lightish mottled turkey with a white strip and tied tips down. So I'm going to take out two. Set them on either side. Put a bit of saliva in there. Something like it was in the original. And to finish it off again, slightly unusual that there was uh, another sort of cock of the rock type feather over the wing. So, there may or may not have been something on the head. So, 
hard as hell. But I don't really see. Sometimes you can see, you know, when there's butts and things like that, that maybe that theme was continued into the head. But here we can't make that out. sort of slightly unusual vintage pattern, no idea what it's called, uh, and I'm playing some uh, different techniques for uh, tinseling and uh, veilings and stuff like that there, but uh, I, I find I'm sort of more attracted to these old type flies as, uh, as fishing flies, as opposed to maybe the more common ones that we're aware of, perhaps, you know, like the very elaborate and ornate sort of things like Jack Scott's and that. To me these things have more movement, more fishability to them but uh, hopefully that's of some interest to some people um, and as per usual if you like what you see like, subscribe, tell your friends, bring them along uh, and until next time uh, take like